Okay. <sighs> I think everything. I don't know what that is. Hello and welcome to Naivety Gaming. I'm your host, Matt, and this is the 62nd week of Cheap Weekly Thrills. If you haven't already, make sure to like and subscribe. We've got a lot of great content coming on up this week. And I think it's... Stardew Valley Episode 6? I'm gonna hard cut a trailer into here so uh, you guys will know what it is. Oh! <gasps> James, I lost my ma magnifying glass. Oh, wait, fuck. what? Wait, that's where do not I find good. that? Uh, my magnifying glass. You're not gonna find that. Is it in my inventory? Oh, it's right here. <laughs> Never mind. It's in my wallet. 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 It's in my wallet. <laughs> it's in her wallet. <laughs> in your mullet, yeah. I said wallet. Mullet. wallet. Shut the fuck up. No. No. Cheap Weekly Thrills is where I browse Steam and find games that have been released in the past week for $5 or less. And this week, as you can tell, I'm doing a little bit... Something a little bit different. Um, as I've been talking with the rest of the group, uh, all of us have been in agreement that Cheap Weekly Thrills should be adjusted or worked on a little bit. So, this week, what I'll be doing is including the face cam, which is something I've been wanting to do for a little bit of time, and in the future, probably around sometime in the summer, I'd like to be including a second personality, so we can kind of have some back and forth commentary, so it's not just me trying to come up with words, and it's just not working all that well. So, welcome to the 62nd week of Cheap Weekly Thrills. So, I will be... I will be, you know, doing the live browsing right now. Uh, let's go to games. Under five dollars. Um, Stick Fight the Game, our very first game that we reviewed is still under five dollars, as it was released as five dollars. Um, and these are all games that are just on sale, so let's do new on Steam. So what are all of you guys interested in? I'm... I don't know why I'm talking to you guys right now, because I feel like this will be pre-selected for you anyway in the next 30 seconds. Anyway. Um... Oh boy. That one, I don't even want to know what that's about, that's just... It looks like you're just breaking the fourth wall and you're playing a game about people playing a game. Um... I should also make mention that I'm a huge racing fan, so Traffic Road Rush is looking a little bit interesting to me, so I'm just gonna... Look at what this has got. Do you like speed in cars and Traffic Road Rush is made for you? Feel the speed and drive on endless track with multiple racing modes, earn points, and... Oh, I know this type of game. It's one of those games where you, uh, yeah, you dodge through traffic and you go in between lanes. Huh. You know, I'm not gonna lie. I'm actually really interested in just doing this game right now because it's like, oh, I didn't want that. There we go. No, I'm actually really interested in doing this game, considering that it's been a while since I've done something different. As you guys all know, I am obsessed with puzzle games for reasons I don't even know yet. Um, it's only 99 cents, so I can actually afford it. Ouch. And... Let's see. Realistic 3D graphics, several game modes, buy wheelbarrows, and crazy speed. Um... Hmm. And we're back to that thing. So unfortunately, with the full screen mode, uh, you can't really see who developed and published this game, so I'm just gonna... 
incorporate that later. Just to tell you guys about that. Anyway. Um, so yeah, I'm actually just gonna go for it, versus trying to figure out some other games over here. Um... Honestly, there doesn't seem to be all that bad of choices today. So it looks like we have a Mahjong Christmas version. Uh, we've got a Pixel Dungeon Crawler, I would want to say. Driver Pro 2017, you're a year behind, so keep trying. Uh, Escape Expert also seems interesting. About this game, how about this game? It's an indie game developed by one person except the art part. Oh, uh, this is definitely poorly translated. Uh, the game is developed and- oh, can you stop rotating? The game is developed and not completed, not final. I make this game depended on my design only. I'm just gonna skip that and just see what this is all about. So it just looks like that... This open world with interesting cars. And from what it looks like, you're just supposed to escape stuff and there's a game phone. I'm gonna go with uh, the traffic racer one. Yeah, this one. So... Stop that. I'll give this game a couple of quick tests, see if this works. I'll let you know who the developer and publisher are, and I shall see you guys in just a moment. Hello and welcome to Traffic Road Rush by Crimson Earth Games. Um, and immediately I've noticed that there's a lack of sound. Which is a little bit unfortunate. I also noticed that the wheels are in the ground, so it's as if that there's like an inch or two of water on the ground to create this reflecting surface. Um, immediately though, I am relatively impressed with the models of the graphics. You know, they look good, and the reflective surfaces on the car itself uh, look really good. Um, the reflective surface underneath the car is uh, a little bit pixelated, but for a game of 99 cents, I don't think I could ask for much more. I mean, it's 99 cents, guys. Let's let's not be picky here. Um, I'm already pretty pretty impressed about what I would assume this one person or this small group of team has been able to create just to start with. Um, Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't think they were able to get the licensing, but it looks like that they really enjoy BMWs, and, going to be honest, me too. So, um, I have exactly zero credits, and I believe this is, oh, BMW IM? Yeah, it kind of looks like an IM. I can't remember offhand, I think this is the... It's not the 2002, it's uh... Bah, bah, bah. I'm blanking on it, but it's an iconic 80s BMW. Um, this is one of my favorite ones, it's uh, M3 E46, and this is M3 E96, I want to say. And then, that's just their SUV version. Anyway. This is how nerdy of a car geek I am already, but not nerdy enough to know exactly what I'm talking about. So, I'm just going to pick this car, um, see how it goes. I'm scared, but I'm excited, I'm scared. Okay. Um, let's, there we go, now I can kind of see. So, one way for best score, ah, I see. So, it's the one way, the two way, the time attack, and speed bomb. Um, just to start with, I think I'm gonna do a quick, quick, um, ah, what do you want to call it? I think I'm gonna do one race of each mode, just kind of trial and error. Um, and then we've got sunny and rainy, that's nice. So, I don't know what the controls are, so it's WASD as you would have expected. Um, it looks like our trees are spawning in front of us. Um... 
handling is actually not too bad. It, the car model looks just slightly twitchy, um, but with each press of a button, you get a pretty exact and pretty precise uh, position. Um, the game is running in a pretty nice, pretty stable 60 frames a second. Unfortunately, I can't, don't have that captured, and as I was looking at my capture screen, I crashed, so... Pay attention while driving, kids. Um, let's play that again. Apparently, just by doing that much, I only got... I played for what? 14 seconds or something? Not very long. Probably longer than that. Now look at those trees blowing the wind. I was debating whether or not I would want to play this game with controller support. Um, I'd be very interested to see how it would work if uh, you guys have a controller at home. Considering that most games on Steam have native controller support. Um, most games. But my thought is... You know, some, some 99 cent games may or may not have that controller support built in, so... Uh, I wish I could tell you right now, I might try that in a little bit later to let you guys know. But so far... So far, so good. I don't have any issues with this game, apart from the lack of music, but maybe that was because they couldn't get licensing or... All that kind of fun stuff they can afford a composer. I understand that. Life is expensive, and when you're putting all of your time and energy into making a game, then trying to suddenly become a composer on top of it... Oh boy. I am, uh... I understand them. I understand what they're thinking. At least they've been able to get the sound effects. So they do have uh, pretty responsive sound effects to what the car is doing, which is better than not. And it actually seems with with this game mode, the one way, I'm not sure if you can adjust the difficulty or not. I'll have to go double check that in a little bit for you guys. Um, but I'm assuming if it's just... Oh, hi. You're stopped in the middle of the road. Um, I'm assuming if... One of two things is happening. I was either blinded, did not see difficulty setting, or it gets progressively harder the further you go on, which I'm figuring is probably more akin to what this game is like. Um, I wonder if there's a look back button. Nope. So as of right now, it's just WASD, and I purposely kind of crashed there. Uh, so we could get on to the two-way. Nice. I'm actually getting somewhere in points, so that's nice to know. Um, still can't really go anywhere else for cars, so we'll just do that. We'll try out the rainy function, see how that looks. So now we've got the two-way, I'm now in oncoming traffic. No, I'm not. Uh, the cool thing about this is that they have they have the traffic going on the right sides of the road. Screw you, international audience. I'm just kidding. I love you. Okay. Hey, is that an Acura Integra? Oh, it shouldn't be. Oh shit. Nice shot, Matt. Nice shot. Let's play again. Um, so I like, I should be talking more about the game or what I'm seeing a little bit more instead of flipping off our international audience. But um, what I like so far about this is kind of the graphics that you get with the rain. It really looks like they did put some good amount of time in, in making all the surfaces reflective I can understand why they wouldn't have put enough time or more time in, you know, making all the cars reflect, reflect in the rain. I also do like the little rain effect on the camera. Makes it a little bit more 
realistic in that manner. If you're following a car with a camera in a rainstorm, you're gonna get the lens wet. That's just, that's just how it is. Um... I feel like that there probably should have been a couple of few more rain particles when maybe it falling a little bit faster. It looks more like snow. But again, let's be honest here. This is still pretty cool. I enjoy this. I also just realized that if the closer you get to cars, you get the near miss uh, bonus. So let me just kind of go down. Oh. Never mind. Keep it above. 100 kilometers. Nice, nice. Total score, uh, 2,000 or whatever. That's cool. Got some good amount of points. I'll choose the same car. Let's do a time attack. Uh, yeah, I'll do rainy again. Okay, so... I think it might just be saying how far can you go in a short amount of time. And during the time attack, it looks like it is just the one-way street. Um, it seems a lot more populated than the traditional one way. Nice job. Nice job, man. Let's play that again. No, in all honesty, for being a 99 cent game, I can honestly imagine quite a lot of replay value of this game. Um, no, it is not a graphically perfect, like, 4K masterpiece of a game with, like, realistic sound effects and, like, realistic car models and all the rest of it, but for- I should take that last statement back. They actually did a really good job of making pretty real-world looking cars. Um, Sound effects are actually pretty good for the price range that you're given. Again, it's a dollar game, so the fact that they have any sound effects at all is good. Um, you know, in all honesty, I'm rather impressed with this. I can imagine that with the different types of game modes and with the um, how much the cars cost, I can imagine that you'd do a lot of grinding, but that's just kind of the game idea. That's just kind of how these games are produced. They're meant to be... They're meant to be grindy kind of games. Um, or you just sit back and you do the same levels over and over again where you're trying to accumulate more and more points. And I get that. So in all honesty, apart from the lack of music and the fact that that car over there is in a curb, all those cars are in a curb, um, I think this game is really nice. I'd definitely recommend it. And like I said, for 99 cents, I mean, that's more... You're getting a pretty good amount of, you know, time for, well, value for the time that you're spending in this game. Versus buying a $60 game and only spending 12 hours on it, not even. I mean, this game you can spend a lot of hours playing this, so. I think of that, um, you guys can time, you can try out the time bomb or speed bomb mode, I imagine that would be... Um, pretty interesting. So that was Traffic Road Rush by Crimson Earth Games. And I just realized my camera angle was off again. Like I was saying earlier, I definitely recommend this game. This game is, you know, it's got pretty decent graphics considering its low budget or low price range that it's sold at. Um, graphics are good. Car models are really good. They're realistic. They're recognizable. Uh, controls are fine. They're pretty good, actually. Um, a little bit twitchy on occasion, but it's got more than enough game modes and got and gives you a lot of good reason to con continuously come back and play this game consistently. Um, so I think you're getting a lot of good value out of the time and money that you're putting into this game. So again, I would definitely recommend Traffic Road Rush by Crimson Earth Games. If you enjoyed this content, make sure to like and subscribe. We've got a lot of great stuff coming on up, uh, like a revised form of Cheap Weekly Thrills that I'm doing right now. So if you want to come back and check next week's episode, please do that, because I'll probably have these came in that too, so you can see... Whatever that is. Gross. If you're an indie developer who is looking at releasing a brand new game in the next couple of weeks, make sure to check out the About section of the channel and check underneath 
uh, I want to say for business inquiry and email uh, check out that email there I'd love to get in contact with you and talk with you about your game and see if I could potentially uh, review that in a future episode of Cheap Weekly Thrills. This was the 62nd episode of Cheap Weekly Thrills, and I can't wait to see you guys next week in the 63rd episode of Cheap Weekly Thrills. Until then, I'm Matt, and I hope to see you then. Bye-bye.